Hello guys, I'm Juwan Smith and Alyssa Hale. And you are chilling, hanging out with us. I think, okay, so recently this movie called Why Him with Why James him? Franco came out. And that was the funniest movie I have ever, <laughs> like, I was in stitches the ho- throughout the whole entire movie. I don't think there was a moment that, like, when I didn't have a smile on my face. Um, I want to say Harold and Kumar. Pineapple Express, those movies. That's I a great those, one. I think those were ones. Step Brothers. Yes, Step, Step Brothers, Brothers is and amazing. Also, of course, Friday. <laughs> one of my favorite movies of all time. Definitely. Those are all like, those are all great. Yeah. Really, really funny. Yeah, we should make one. Make yeah, one let's do it. Comedy. I'm down. <laughs> I think we're funny enough, yeah. don't you think? Yeah, just look at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> um, the movie Listen to Your Heart with. Alexia Rasmussen. Rasmussen. Hmm. That movie, it it just completely tore me apart. I thought about it like for like literally three days after I watched the movie, and it just made me feel so sad. I kept thinking about. I don't know. It just did something to me. It, yeah, it really made me sad. It was like the saddest thing I've ever ever watched. I was like, "No, this can't be happening. How is this? Like, he's too good. Like, this can't happen." But I think so, I think mine would have to be with uh, Leonardo Titanic. Oh, uh, Titanic. Titanic. I remember yes, I as Titanic. a little kid, like six or seven years old, and mm-hmm. watching it at twelve in the morning, and I'm just watching all this stuff transpire. Right. You know, and I'm watching people in panic, and I'm just like, no, you know, no rose, no rose. Like, I don't want them to break up. And for that to happen, it just really, and, and it's our history. That was crazy. That's an amazing movie. Anytime anyone asks me, like, what is your all-time favorite movie, that is my answer. Yeah, Titanic. Titanic, amazing. how, like, I really appreciate every, every scene in that movie. It's just beautifully edited and just, Can it's amazing. Can you imagine the budget they had? It was that was yeah. crazy. I I became so obsessed with Titanic after I watched it. I literally looked up so many things after I watched it, like all the like interesting facts about how how they made the film. I googled icebergs, so yeah. yeah. And so it, it's pretty interesting. <laughs> I was like, wow. Um, I think I think dedication. I think um, being able to stay confident in what you do. You always should be confident, no matter how far you are into it, and how you know how much you've done. Staying confident, staying active. Um, I think the most important thing is to push yourself. Push yourself. Learn as much as you can. Um, always reinvent yourself. That's the most important thing. Always reinvent yourself, and never be afraid. That's what I would tell you. Okay, my favorite thing about acting is being able to become someone that I'm not. I feel like okay. So my honest, my favorite role that I've gotten to play so far is, um, well, a crazy woman. Crazy. And I mean, we all we all have a bit of crazy in us. I, I know that. But this 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 character that I played, what what I had to do, I was in a um, I had gotten a boob job, and I was in excruciating pain. The doctor did a terrible job. And um you sound very believable right now, actually. You sound very believable. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and and um anyway, so then I had to go into the hospital and basically I was wearing a trench coat and I just whip out a knife and I'm like, if you don't take these things out of me, I am going to wow. take them out myself. But anyway. Um, yeah. I, I think my favorite thing about acting may be Oh, of course, it's just being on the set. I love being on set and around mm-hmm. everything. But I think um, watching your final finished product and that, watching your growth, I think that's another thing I'm ex- I like to see, you know. Yes. I, I, oh, man, I love that, too. Back then, well, back when I first started acting, um, recently I went back to go and look at old auditions. And now I understand why I didn't get the job because yeah. they were so terrible. Yeah. And so the more that I've I've learned my craft and attend acting classes and read what I can about acting and just perfecting it as much as I can every day. Every day you have to put in work into your craft. Okay. Compared to five years to now, from now to now, how much 
how much confident how much more confident are you I'm so much more confident in myself and in my acting now than I was five years ago. Five years ago when I first started, I didn't know a thing about acting. Honestly, I didn't even know what an extra was. And then once I figured out what an extra was and I went onto the Tyler Perry set, I said, okay, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life because I loved being in that environment. I loved being around all the cameramen and like the director and listening to them saying, all right, and cut and action. Like, You know something that really, it, it baffles me, not that it's, you, you know, you're supposed to know, but if you talk to people, just uh, uh, if you go do a survey of 10 people, mm -hmm. most of those people don't even know how many jobs there are on set. Right. or what it takes to even film a show or how long. Um, I was talking to a young lady and she said, um, yeah, so you just have your actors and you have uh, your director and you have, you know, the cameraman. And I'm like, well, do you have anything else? People don't know about the set decoration, the people that come build, the people that right. handle the locations, you know, crafty, just different jobs. And I think being on set is the best experience. And I think um, I think everybody should go one time, at least oh, once, just to absolutely. see what it's like. Um, it's a faster pace. You have to be quick on your feet. You're talking to people that have, you know, from five to 30 years experience. Mm -hmm. Everyone's so witty and quick on your feet. You kind of have to be the same way. I feel like that's where you learn the most about acting is actually being on the set and yeah. seeing how the whole process and everything works. I agree. But yeah. definitely more confident now than I am, than, than I was five years ago.